Welcome back everyone to the Weber League Report. I'm your host, Robert Weber. We had a great fourth week and winning his court once again was Drew Mercier at court one, top court with a high score of 19. Let's hear what he had to say. Just serving really well, I got him. and uh, yeah. I did knock the racket out of Scott's hands. Trying to run around Blamed it on you know, the grip, but uh, <laughs> I broke both my strings tonight, so I had ended up using Scott's racket, and uh, that caused me to lose my only service game tonight. But uh, you know, started off strong and, uh, with my trusty Dude, adult like, partner sucks. Robert. I'm like, I'll tell you <laughs> and, uh, all my just got things going from there, so. Did they find anything wrong? Very well said by Drew. Going to court two, high was Chaz Cooper making his reign back. He got a 22, very strong play. Let's hear what he had to say. Oh, it was fun. We had a good time. And with that score of 22, of course, gives him the Violator of the Week award. Very nicely done. But unfortunately, when usually there's a that high of a score also comes a low score. Unfortunately, that low score was Abi Baroud. Had a little bit of setback, but oh well. What can you say, but? Okay, now, court three, your winner was Dan Sloboth. Bringing up the rear court three with a high of 18, very nice. And let's see what he had to say during this nightly interview. Hey, I had great partners. You know, they held me up. They, they, uh, they made the old man look good. A man of few words as well. Yes, that is Dan Slobaugh. Going to court four, we had a tie for the high with Joe Height and Ryan Strassel getting an 18. Very well done. Court five, the high was 19 with Tracy Wright. Very good job of coming back and changing that other low score. Got a 19. Very well done for Tracy. And super big thanks to Scott Slezak who brought pizza for everyone after the night's uh, festivities and with uh, beverages as well. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week.